Hey everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'm here to give you a detailed walkthrough of the Saxon Advanced Math Curriculum. I know that when you're getting started on a new curriculum, it can be a little difficult to figure out, okay, which books do I need? Which one, what are they for? So look, we're gonna lay it all out today. We're gonna talk to you about when you should take this course, which books are the ones that are needed, and show you a little bit of how it's laid out. You ready? Let's go. So let's start out by talking about what is advanced math. Well, advanced math per Saxon includes a lot of geometry, a little bit of trigonometry, and a little bit of precalculus. I mean, if I were going to give some numbers, I'd say about a half geometry and a quarter of each of the two remaining. And one thing you should know about this, it generally takes longer. What do I mean by that? The lessons are longer. Where in the past it might have taken, you know, seven to ten minutes to learn the new material, it might take 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes to learn the new material with advanced math. It's just more complicated material. Also, jet students generally take a longer time, like as far as years, to do this textbook. I often hear that students will take one and a half years, up to two years, to do this textbook. And that's okay because it is packed with a lot, as you can see. As I said, geometry, trigonometry, and also a little bit of precalculus as well. So, you know, it's okay to take your time with this book because, you know, problems take longer, problems are harder than they've been in the past. So we want to make sure we're not rushing through this book. There are four books in this curriculum for advanced math. So let's go through them. First we have, and it is heavy, <laughs> it is the Advanced Math Textbook. As you see, it is a hardcover. I believe it's 2004. I'm not positive. Nope, 2003 you go. So 2003. And it's the second edition, which is kind of a little different, right? Because most of the other Saxon books are third edition. This one is the second, okay? That's what it looks like. All right, what else is there? There is a test forms booklet. There's also a homeschool soft cover uh, packet, homeschool packet, and then another good sizable solutions manual. I'm going to take you through all four of these and we can kind of figure out what's going on in each of them. Let's start with the student textbook. Now, first thing to know, there's one student textbook. There's not like an additional teacher's manual or facilitator's guide. We're all using the same book. Okay, and let's see how many lessons are in this book. Let's take a look. There are, I believe it's like 125, I was right, 125 lessons, and uh, it's broken down into two sections. So each lesson has the new material, and then it has a problem set. So in past Saxon books, we've always had like a new material, and then we would have like a little practice on today's problems, and then the problem set. That middle piece does not exist in this book. You'll get enough practice by doing the new material in the problem set. So let's first talk about that new material. Again, makes sense. This is where the real lesson or the learning is for the day. Now here's the deal. We're in advanced math, so these take longer to do. It's generally, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes you know, for a lesson. It just takes longer to do. Now again, you could teach your, your student or you could give your student the textbook and let them teach themselves, which I personally find a bit challenging because this is a hard book. It's a thick book. Um, or you could look at my math videos. I do every single lesson in the textbook as it is in the textbook. So students can watch that on demand at their leisure. They can rewind, they can go back to it because again, it is a bit of a tougher curriculum. Let's talk about that problem set next. This is what Saxon math is generally known for. Those 30 or so practice problems that are done in a spiral review. Meaning, not all of the problems are gonna be from today's lesson. Some will be from yesterday's or the day before, or the week before that. And it's so they're constantly touching on topics that they're gonna to need to see again to move forward, okay? Now, one thing I wanna point out, in prior Saxon books, in the problem set, there's usually a little number that's part of the book, part of the problem that it tells you which lesson that this problem came back from it came from so you could go back to it well in the advanced math book that number is not in the student textbook so that's a, a difference than what we've seen prior they do have that number it's someplace else sneak peek so i'm going to let you know when we get to that book where it is 
but just in case you're looking for it in this textbook, it does not exist. Okay. Now, here's another place that where we try to help students that we provide another service on the Nicole the Math Lady platform called online grading. Online grading is where your student gets to input their answer that they come up with in their problem set, and we will automatically tell them if it's correct or incorrect. You know, if it's correct, we, you know, are happy, excited. If it's incorrect, I mean, we can still be excited, but we're going to try to correct it, right? We're going to give them retries to fix their mistake and see if they can come up with that correct answer. Uh, we also provide a tool, you know, we will provide a link back to the lesson that this problem came from. So if they need to rewatch that video, or take a look at it again, they have it right there at their fingertips. It's really a great uh, feature for students because they get a chance to learn how to correct their mistakes, which is really what we want students to do. But also for parents, advanced math, these problems get a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed. So you're, you're not grading all the problems yourself. You're actually just focusing on where your students need help. We'll send you an email report to let you know some of the problem areas. There's a few more extra things I want to tell you about this textbook. At the beginning of the textbook, there's a letter from John Saxon, the author. It's called The Preface, and he just talks a little bit about this curriculum, uh, the way we take advanced math, and all the different topics that are covered. It's definitely worth a read. At the back is your typical index. There's also the answers to the problem sets, so you should know that that's back there. Now, the answers by themselves I find not to be that helpful at this level of math. You know, just by seeing the answer is not going to help you understand how they came to that. So there is another textbook that we're going to talk about, or it's actually a workbook. We're going to talk about it, and you're going to need that, I think. Just having the answers alone is not enough, but I want to make you aware that it's there, because, you know, your students will also know that it's there. All right, what else do we have? The next book, or booklet in this case, is called The Test Forms. The test forms are literally the test that you administer to your students. Now, at the front of the book, it'll tell you the testing schedule, meaning how often you should give a test. Definitely recommend checking that out. They have a few pages at the back of the book, you know, as scratch paper, but you're going to need a lot more space than that. So I recommend to students just keeping a spiral notebook handy where they can do their work, you know, for either the test. You could have one just for tests, one just for the problem sets, or you could use, you know, use one for both of them. The third book, or the soft cover book, is the homeschool packet. Now, this book is divided into two parts. The first part of the book are the answers to the tests that was in the test forms booklet. And it's a step-by-step -step guide where it walks you through how to do these problems. So when you administer a test and your student has a question or got something incorrect, you can reference that to figure out, oh, here's how they got the correct answer. Now, the second half of the book are the answers to the problem set, but that's all. It's just the answers. It is not the solution, meaning it's not a step-by-step walkthrough and not a guide. So it's, I don't find it to be that helpful because at this level of math, you really need to know how to do the problem, not just what the right answer is. So let's move on to our next book, which will give you a little bit more of what you need. The fourth book is the Solutions Manual, and this is where you'll find those detailed walkthroughs of the problem sets. Now, remember I told you that in that student textbook, underneath the problem, there wasn't a number that told you where that problem came from? Well, they made up for it. They put it here in the Solutions Manual. It's actually, like again, right underneath the problem number. It'll be in parentheses, and that number says, hey, this problem came from this previous lesson that you learned. So if your student has an issue, they can always reference it back and go back and figure out how to do that problem. And that's it. That's a walkthrough of the Saxon Advanced Math Curriculum. We're definitely getting up there in the math topic. So as I said, this one's going to take longer as far as the daily lessons, but it'll also take longer to complete the textbook most students who are doing the full curriculum take one and a half to two years, so just plan to be here for a while. Okay, that's all I have for you today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I hope you're having a great one, and I'll see you soon. Bye.